Friends, I'm so excited about this. Can you convince a mermaid expert that the mythical creatures are real? If so, you could win $1 million. Listen to this. Chicken of the Sea has asked CMU professor Ari Burke to judge the contest. Now, Burke is a folklore and mythology professor at the School of Mount Pleasant. I am so thrilled you're here. How are you, professor? Great, I'm great. How are you? Oh, I am doing exciting. Just a little bit of knowledge for you. I collect mermaids. I love mermaids. I'm obsessed with the mermaids. I think they're, <laughs> they're amazing. So I am really thrilled to talk to you. So how did you get involved with this contest? Well, the company contacted me uh, okay. rather out of the blue. Wow. Uh, probably because of the um, the book for young readers that I wrote some years ago, The Ooh. Secret History of Mermaids Ooh. and Creatures of the Deep. Yeah. Um, knew that I was a folklorist and asked if I might be interested in participating. Wow. Why are you so fascinated with these mythical creatures? To be honest, I'm not biased in any way. It's all mythological and folklore creatures, really. Yeah. Um, Ever since I was really uh, very young, I became interested in mythology. Yeah. I grew up on the West Coast, so grew up along the ocean. Um, I was always more interested, actually, um, in creatures that were fantastical and mythological oh. than, um, than more worldly. Um, so it was, came out of a natural interest that I ended up going into folklore and mythology. Really? So when will you be judging the entries? How does it work? Well, it's actually happening. It's happening starting right about now. Oh. Uh, I, I've had a look at some of the entries already. Okay. Um, so that process begins um, like in the moment right now. What are some things people are saying? <laughs> you, uh, you mean in terms of submissions? What yes. are the kinds of things I'm seeing? Well, uh, I am seeing a lot of uh, a lot of people with um, with artificial tails swimming uh, beautifully in their home swimming pools, oh. which obviously are not um, are, <laughs> I would not be qualified as no. scientific evidence of mer people. Um, I have seen a manatee, oh. uh, clear manatee. It was clearly a manatee, <laughs> but, but, it, but it was interesting because in folklore, yeah. oftentimes um, uh, it's clear that um, sailors would see things like manatees right. and uh, and seals and perhaps because they had been out to sea for a very long time, had kind of imagined them as, as possibly mermaids. Oh. So. so, Professor, my figurine collection and all of my mermaids <laughs> that I've collected, that would not qualify me for the $1 million? No, it would no. not. It had. It's very. The the criteria are very specific, yeah. and and I based a lot of them in folklore. So it can't simply be a sighting. It okay. has to be uh, the mer person or mermaid has to exhibit um, evidence of their language and culture. Oh. It has to be a real encounter, I love um, and it. not merely a, uh, a spurious sighting. Okay, so if there is no grand prize winner, and this is amazing, friends, Chicken of the Sea will donate one million ounces of seafood to food pantries. I loved about the contest, um, besides the fact that, uh, again, if nobody nobody spotted one or met a mermaid, yeah. that all of this wonderful food is going to be given to food banks. What I what I and that's why I will say that's almost sixty four thousand pounds of seafood, oh, um, a million ounces. That's a lot of food given away. Um, what I loved about this, though, is that the stories of, of mermaids and merpeople and the mythology and folklore around the sea draw people to think about our relationship with our environment. Yes. I mean, our, our origins as a species came from the ocean, mm -hmm. and our future as a species is deeply tied to it. So I love the fact that people would be having fun with a contest like this, but at the same time, think about their relationship with the waters of the earth. I love it. You know what, Professor? Like, I love swimming. I love the ocean. I love being in water. I taught my kids when they were little to swim, and I could be a mermaid. Who knows? <laughs> I could be. <laughs> I could we, be right here. Do. We have had, um, there have been submissions of people that are living on land, yeah. but, but they claim mer ancestry. I love and, it. and actually, they did it in a very beautiful way. One woman described all of the lessons that she had learned oh. living alongside um, the water her entire life beautiful. about going with the flow, yeah. about understanding there's sometimes storms that have to be endured. And it was actually really beautiful yes. to hear her talk about her life. Um, using these kind of oceanic and watery metaphors. It was a, oh. a really beautiful piece of, of kind of individual life wisdom. That's beautiful, and I'm going to have to check out your book as well. I, you just got me ready to go to the island, to the beach. I'm ready for some water right now. Thank you, Professor. You're so welcome. <laughs> Appreciate you so much. We'll have all this information on our website. And if you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM.
dash 4pm news at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4pm news spotlight.